wherever they are in society, in the time in their life for the first time, they're asking the question of, who am I? What am I doing here? What are we doing here? And you help them shape the answer. And through that, I mean, you can see it here. It's a very powerful experience on a personal level, too. You feel that you are doing something meaningful, that it's really have a very significant impact. Hey, Amir. Alan, how are you? Good to see you. This is Amir, the CEO of an incredible NGO called the Harai. So let's go meet some of your trainees. And he's invited me to do something I haven't done in years with a bunch of young leaders in the making. Acharai offers empowering, value-based youth leadership programs to all young Israelis, especially those from marginalized communities. <laughs> and tonight, I get to train with them. I'm a bit concerned about what's going to happen. <laughs> Acharai's vision is that every Israeli will reach their full potential and have access to all the resources necessary to shape an empowered future. How long do they train together? All the high school. And they're doing what? Physical exercises, mental exercises? Speak about values, about themselves, about their goals, volunteering to the community, what they want to be in the future. They will take responsibility, not just about their choices, but also about the surrounding. Our vision is to see these people become the leaders of their communities. I mean, it's okay. You can stop showing off at the cameras. <laughs> so that was good. Someone who does this willingly, they go into the army, nothing's gonna be a surprise or, a, yeah. or more than they can take. More than 20% of all the combat soldiers mm -hmm. are graduates of this program. Acharai means follow me in Hebrew and is an expression that was developed during the 1948 War of Independence when commanders led their soldiers. In Acharai, we don't call Acharai, we do Acharai. We lead by example. Do as I do, not do as I say. Yeah, yeah that's powerful stuff. We develop young leadership from all sectors of Israeli society. We want to see the teenagers in Israel have a real opportunity to fulfill their potential and lead the communities they live in and to take responsibility not just about their lives, also the lives of their surrounding. We want to empower them physically, mentally, socially. It's very important. So we believe that if we will work with the masses, and this layer of leadership will influence their surroundings, it will have a very big impact about the whole society in Israel. From wherever they are in society, in the time in their life for the first time, they're asking the question of, who am I? What am I doing here? What are we doing here? And you help them shape the answer. And through that, I mean, you can see it here. It's a very powerful experience on a personal level, too. You feel that you are doing something meaningful, that it really has a very significant impact. Four thousand kids came here yesterday. They didn't sleep. Last night's training was preparation for these teenagers' biggest challenge yet, an arduous hike up Jerusalem's Mount Herzl in honor of their upcoming military service. You might be able to tell that it's been a hard morning. Me and these kids who started hiking five hours ago, up and up and up this mountain, like everything that's a value in our life, nothing good comes without a little sweat, elbow grease, and being a little out of breath. What do you feel at the end of this journey? I'm very proud of myself. I like to see like all of these people that didn't give up and went through this journey. I'm interested to know what drew you into doing this prep course. Wanting to make a difference in society, honestly. Wanting to be a leader for all, for all people. 
זה שמפריח את השממה ומפתח את הארץ. To feel powerful, you need to help others. When you help others, you get power from that. I'm confident that with future leaders like these, Israel is on the right track. Never doubt yourself. There's no limit to what you can reach. Once again, Shalom from Jerusalem. Today we have the great, great honor to sit with one of the most famous Israeli generals, Mr. Yoram Yair. He's known in Israel as General Yaya. General Shalom. Shalom Vracha. Let's talk about leadership and how leadership in Israel is different than leadership anywhere else. Since I was very young officer, it was a kind of challenge how you take a young soldier and in few months make him a commander. We don't have academies mm -hmm. to train our officer. It's on the job training. It's doing your service. We pick the best soldiers and we make them squad leaders and the best squad leaders we send for a few months to the officer course and they become commanders. They don't spend four years or three years mm -hmm. studying. But the fact is, it's working. There are good commanders. The units are uh, fulfilling their missions, mm -hmm. everything. So there must be some reason why it happened. So what's the secret? Oh, so I say probably there is some key to leadership. And that's if you can motivate your people to do what you want them mm -hmm. to do. What is the key for motivation? Mm -hmm. Identification. Mm. To create the situation where your soldier to identify with you. The best thing that a leader can do is set an example. Not the best thing. He cannot without. <laughs> Our main tool to create identification is by personal example. Smoking mother cannot convince her daughter not to smoke. Mm. Beautiful. Don't go about leadership, big words, every day, in every house, in every family, in every classroom. If the teacher is not giving personal example, it won't help. Whenever you have to make a decision to give an order, check three things. One, which goal you are serving? Your own goal, your own interest, yes. or the common? interest, the common goal. Second is similarity. Mm -hmm. This is why personal example is so key. And the third part is it must be symmetrical. Mm -hmm. If you want your people to identify with you, do every effort to feel them, to understand them, to show them that you are mm -hmm. identifying with them. Mm -hmm. That's the whole key. Mm -hmm. Dr. General, Yaya, great, great honor. Okay. I feel like I'm sitting with one of the biblical generals. Great honor. Once again to you, our friends, shalom, and thank you from Jerusalem. And keep praying for the miracle of Israel. Hey, I'm Mati Shoshani, and thank you for watching the TBN Israel YouTube channel. We hope this video gave you greater understanding of Israel and her people. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. We'd love to hear from you, so be sure to share what you've learned and ask your questions and comments below. And invite your friends to join the conversation.